Yo, this is a video that I've been wanting to make for a long time and just talking about my journey, feel me? I've been making music for about 13 years now. That's like more than half of my natural life. I'm 25 right now. So I started when I was 12 and it just became something bigger than I ever thought it would be. The journey taught me so much, man, you feel me? I, I made friends, I've lost friends, I've lost people, sadly, you feel me? Just part of the journey though. And a lot of the people that I thought were gonna be around are just not. And it's not anyone's fault, you feel me? It's just, life happens. I'm growing up, I'm seeing people get married, I'm seeing people have kids, I'm seeing people really just enjoy their life to the fullest. But to me, like my life to the fullest is me in front of my computer recording or talking about music or staying up on music in general, like the scene that I wanna be in and just how can I get to a level where people look at me how they look at these other people. It just kinda got to a point where like if it doesn't pertain to music, I, I just don't care. I, I feel like that's one of my biggest red flags, you feel me? Like I, I could really care less about anything as long, if it's not gonna inspire my music, if it's not going to really just push me forward as a person, like I'm just not about it. One thing for sure that I want to tell you, I'm not trying to say like, you know, you need to put the ground first. You need to work as hard as you can to get where I am if that's what you want to be. But I mean, that's just what you have to do. And there's a lot of sacrifices that have to be made when you want to be the next star, you feel me? And I'm not anywhere near that yet, but in my mind, I want to be a Drake level artist, you feel me? I want to be as big as I can be in the space that I want to be in. It comes with a lot of work, a lot of sacrifice. I, I saw this video earlier today where they were like, as an artist, you have two decisions to make. And that's either, do you wanna be that mega star? Cause that comes with playing into the industry, learning all of the percentages and everything, or do you just wanna have a good career, be able to tour, have fans, all that. And they're two separate paths, but I feel like I finally know what mine is. I feel like finally is a strong word, but there's a lot of things you have to go through to get to this point where you could kind of consciously make the decision on what kind of artist you wanna be. You need the experiences in life. You need the heartbreaks. You need the friendships that go wrong. You need all that, you feel me? You need everything that's gonna bring you down to realize that even when you feel you're at rock bottom, you could just come up. And I've probably been on my rock bottom like most times this year than I have most of my life, to be honest. You know, like I've been through struggles. Before Green Tea and Honey blew up, I was kinda sharing a room with my grandpa on a twin bed, you feel me? So to, to see where we could grow as people and just the people around me and the team that I can call a team, you feel me, around me is different. It took me about 11 years to find management and just people to put on my team that I feel deserve to be on my team, not because they're trying to make money off me, but because they're trying to grow with me and try to show that like, you know, there's a lot of different ways that we can pursue this music and it really is dependent on me because I'm the face, I'm, I'm the artist, you feel me? So it's just a journey you have to go through and every time I see these quotes on Instagram and stuff talking about, you know, it's not the destination, it's the journey. It took me a long time to get that because in my head, the destination is just where I need to be. You know, I wanna take care of my family. I wanna get my mom a house. I'm trying to make sure my little sisters can go to college, my little cousins can go to college and everything. So in my head, it's like, how can I get this four or five million dollar check from a label and really excel at what I wanna do, tour the world, 20 to 50, 50, 80,000 people shows, you feel me? Just light it up. That's still my biggest goal, but I'm just trying to learn how to enjoy the journey a little more and know that with the struggles comes growth. A lot of people ask me about the mistakes I've made and just if I would go back in time to undo them. But to be honest, without those mistakes, I probably wouldn't be the person I am today. And I feel like I'm a pretty good person, you know? I just like to make music and kick it alone. Really, I don't do much. So I'm a pretty boring person when it doesn't come to music. After having my first hit song, I don't, I don't even like calling it a hit song just because like I feel like it's not at a Drake level 1 billion streams, but I'm chilling at a cool 35 million right now. And I have another song right now, Juice, that's going crazy on TikTok. It, it, there's a lot of things building up for me, but I'm not where I wanna be. And I feel like just in my heart, I'm never gonna be where I wanna be because there's always a next level. There's always a next step, you feel me? Once Drake is off the pedestal, who's next? That's, that's the question. There are times I had to record in my car because I didn't have 
you know, a studio to go to. There are times that I just learned how to mix and master everything myself because there was no one who wanted to help me. There's times where I had to learn how to do this content creation thing and, you know, alone. But I mean, that's fine. You feel, I feel like doing things alone and just growing in every aspect of my career, not just the music, is what is going to excel me and make me different from a lot of different people. In April of 2020, I got a notification from this app called Song Stats. If you're not an artist, uh, you probably don't know what that is, but it basically just gathers all the information from playlists on Spotify, from playlists on Apple Music, uh, TikToks, all that. Whenever your song is used in a video or just anything, uh, it alerts you just so you can know what's happening with your song and you kind of dive deep into the analytics of everything and see why it's growing. But in April of 2020, I hit number one on a viral top charts hit on Spotify in Thailand. And about 20 minutes after I got that notification, I found out that my cousin passed and that was super hard for me, bro, because me and him started rapping together. So that's like a big thing for me. And that's the reason I got this chain for real. You feel me? I just feel like the journey is not cool without the people around you. Hitting number one on any Spotify chart is crazy. It's a hard thing to do. I'm not trying to demean that in any way, but it's just like, it kind of just shows the bittersweetness of life. You know, there's a lot of ups and downs with it. Sorry, I had to step outside just because, you know, we need some sunlight in our lives, you feel me? Just make sure you guys get enough sunlight for sure, especially if you're cooped up in your room all the time and all that. To really just conclude everything, bro, like I love making music and this is what I'm gonna do for the rest of my life. And, <laughs> sorry, it's a little loud. Uh, they are, can't really see it, but they are on like a thing, trying to fix this house. But, oh, I'll wait. They are going at it, dog. It's, it's <laughs> Okay, dog, what is happening, yo? <laughs> it's like every time they stop, they keep going. I don't know what's going on, I hope it stops, but I just wanna say I wouldn't trade these 13 years for anything. All the friends I've made, all the people I've met, everything about it, I'm willing to do it for the next 50 years. You feel me? And that's a big thing about passions. Just make sure you find what you love, find what you wanna do, and just go for it. You feel me? All right, man, day tomorrow out, peace, I love y'all.